Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1418. Hey, if you want to download this Excel workbook so you could follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, last video we saw how to rank for unit profit and total profit either for products or products within manufacturer. But in the last video, we used formulas. This video, we want to see how to do it with pivot tables. Again, here's the last video. And then the next video after this will be the same exact example but with DAX formulas. Now, here's our same two tables we had in the last video. We have, yes, the products from here and the profit for each transaction. Then we have a lookup or dimension table with products and retail price and standard cost. And then over here is our finished report we're trying to create, where we calculate total profit for each product, rank all the profits. Then we rank within each manufacturer just those profits. Then we need to calculate profit per unit, rank those, and rank unit profit within manufacturer. Now, formulas, we were allowed to just make our formulas all in one report. Our pivot tables were going to run into a little bit of trouble trying to do different calculations in the same pivot table. But we'll see if we can create a workaround to get all the calculations together. Now I've clicked on the sheet 1418. Here's our table. All right, so a pivot table, we have proper data set field names at the top, records and rows, empty cells all the way around for both tables. So we can start off by calculating product total profit. I click in a single cell, go up to Insert, Pivot Table, or I use the keyboard Alt-N-V. Now I want to put this existing sheet. I'm going to try and put it right in M6. Click OK. Now I'm going to scroll over. Now the beautiful thing about pivot tables is that's the field from our transaction table that has lots of duplicate products. But when I drag this down to rows, I instantly get a unique list of all our products. Not only that, but when I drag this profit field, which is a number field, down to values, it defaults to sum. That is so much easier than creating this list ourselves and using the sum ifs function like we did last video. Now I do need to format this. So I'm going to come to one cell in the value area. I'm not going to have to highlight everything, just one cell. Right click, number formatting, not the format cells. We want to use number formatting. This dialog box, which has only one tab, not all the tabs like the normal format cells dialog box, this one number tab dialog box will actually add number formatting to the field, not the cells. All right, I'm going to keep it like that. Click OK. Now let's drag profit down again, right below. And now I can change the calculation by coming to the top, right click. And there's two ways we can change calculations in a standard pivot table. We can use summarize values by, which changes the functions, including more options to get to all 11 functions. Or here it is, show values as. So much power in a standard pivot table. We could do percent of grand total, difference from period to period, running total, all sorts of them. And down here, there's our ranks we can do inside a pivot table. I'm going to say rank largest to smallest. Now it's going to ask us which field. And we only have one field for the time being, so we don't actually even need to worry about this. When I click OK, there is our rank. Just like we did with our formulas, quad had the largest total profit. Darnell Fastcatch had the second largest total profit. Now I'm going to change this name up here, total profit, and enter. Now I'm not going to change the title yet here, because we actually still need to have manufacturer as a criteria in the row area, and it's going to change this calculation. Let's drag manufacturer down to rows, but I want it very carefully above the product. When I click and drop, well, there it is. This is a pivot table. So these calculations look at both of the conditions, product and manufacturer. So it calculates our second calculation we want, which is ranking the profits for product within the manufacturer. So that'll properly be our name up here. 
rank total profit for product within manufacturer. And I can even come up and change the width of the column. Now I'm going to right click this pivot table and point to pivot table options. And I'm going to uncheck on the layout and format the auto fit column widths on update. Click OK. Now I'd like to change this. I do not want subtotals. I want to repeat the manufacturer name. And I do not want those little dashes. Actually, right click, I forgot. That's down in pivot table options over on display. Show Expand Collapse button. So I want to get rid of that. Now let's go up to Design, over to Report Layout, Repeat All Item Labels. Not only that, but let's get rid of the subtotals. I'll come over to Layout, Do Not Show Subtotals. Change the column widths. So, so far, this is looking good. We have Total Profit and our first rank for Total Profit. But we need to rank all of the profits regardless of what manufacturer they are. So if we try to drag profit down over here, right click, show values as, there's just not a calculation down here. At least I have no idea how to get the pivot table to do this. Now with formulas, we can do it. And later in our next video with DAX, we can build a formula to do it. So I'm going to remove this sum of profit. And I'm going to cheat. I'm going to build a second pivot table right here. Scroll over, click in a single cell, Alt and V to open up. Create Pivot Table, scroll over. There's our table, existing worksheet. I'm going to be really dangerous. I'm going to put this right next to the other pivot table. Click OK. Now we're going to drag Product down here to Rows. There's our unique list. Now we drag Profit over to Values, right click, Show Values As, and down to Rank Largest to Smallest. And because. We have a single field here. We simply click OK. And look at that. There's the quad at number one. There's the Darnell Fast Catch at number two. But we have a problem here. It's not going to line up. This, of course, is sorted on two fields. Now, we could manually move everything. And in a pivot table, notice MTA Aussie Quad. Well, in a pivot table, you can point to the edge. And when you drag, notice you can move the entire row or record in this pivot table using that green bar. I'm going to Control Z. I don't want to rely on manually doing it. So I'm going to, the only way I know how to do it is to sort based on a custom list. So I'm going to copy this right here, Control C, paste it somewhere down out of sight below, Control V. And then highlight very carefully. There's my custom list I want as an option in our sort feature. We go up to File, Options. Over here to Advanced, scroll down to General. And there it is, Edit Custom List. Now here, I'm going to say Import because I've already selected it down here. Import, Add, Click OK, Click OK. And now I have to do this in a few steps. I'm going to click in this column of products, come up to the sort, more sort options. Ascending, because I don't, I don't really want ascending. I want product, though, to be sorted by more options. Uncheck sort automatically. And here's our drop down for our custom list. And there it is, MTA Aussie Quad Kangaroo. Click OK, click OK. And there we go now. Even though we have two different pivot tables with different criteria in each of the row area, the items are lining up. Now I'm going to rename this Profit TP for Total Profit and Enter. Now we're going to have to create two more pivot tables right next to each other. But these pivot tables will be based on, and if we go look at the product table, we have the product and manufacturer there. And we have our retail and standard costs, which we're actually going to have to subtract building a formula in this pivot table. Now I'm going to click in a single cell, Alt and V. There's the name of the table. We want it on the existing sheet. Oh, this is dangerous. Right next to the other pivot table, click OK. Scroll over. Of course, it's dangerous because if we pivot anything here, it'll give us a warning, but it will try to replace the other pivot table. Now we have to have the same conditions in our first pivot table, so manufacturer in the row. Product below manufacturer in the row. 
right click, pivot table options. I'm going to say uncheck auto fit, display, uncheck show expand, click OK. Design, report layout, repeat all items, subtotal, do not show. Now we'll hide these in a second because we already have them over here. But now, well, wait a second. We have unit profit. That actually is left over. I should have deleted that. I have to show you how to create that formula because it's actually left over from when I created on the answer sheet. We need to subtract these two fields, and we are allowed to do that in a pivot table. We go up to Analyze, over to Field, Items, and Sets, drop down, and Calculated Field. Now I'm going to click the drop down unit profit, delete. Pretend all of this is not there. Now we're going to name this profit per unit. And down here in the formula, I can simply say, hey, there's the retail price minus the standard cost. Now when I click OK, there is a new calculated field, and we can see it in our pivot table. Right click number formatting. Currency, and I'm going to increase this since some of our prices have decimals past the penny position. I'm going to scroll over, drag profit per unit a second time, right click, show values as, and we want to say rank largest to smallest. Well, we have two here, but by selecting product, it will rank the product within the manufacturer. Click OK. And so down here, we can start to compare for turning point. Profits went 1, 2, 3. But over here, the profit per unit went 1, 2, 3. Now we need to rename these. Now I'm going to have to cheat here because profit per unit is the same name as a field. So I'm going to put a space there to trick it. And then this will be rank unit profit, product within manufacturer, and enter. We could add wrap text if we wanted, but I'm not going to do that. Now let's come over and hide these. Highlight S and T, right click, hide. So our cheater multiple pivot table report that looks like one is starting to emerge. We still have one more table we need to create. I'm going to click in a single cell, Alt N V, existing sheet, click location. Try to put it right in W6, click OK. Now this is just straight product. We're definitely going to have to sort this, but look at that. It's picking up our custom sort. Now we simply drag profit per unit, right click, show values as, rank largest to smallest. Product is OK, click OK. Now I'm going to come up here and type something like rank unit profit and enter. And now we need to hide this last column, W, right click, hide. Come over to Q, right click, hide. And there is our hack together multiple pivot tables. We have manufacturer and product. We have total profit, rank total profit product within manufacturer, F2. And this is just going to be, I'm going to double click. This is actually product. So we have rank product for total profit. Profit per unit, ranking the unit profit product within manufacturer, and then just straight ranking the unit profit for all the products. Anytime we look at a particular record in our report, there's Gel Boomerang's Quad total profit, the first rank within Gel Boomerang profits, first rank overall for total profits. There's our profit per unit. It is ranked first within the three Gel Boomerang products but third overall in terms of unit profit. All right, that was a bunch about pivot tables and how to rank with a single and double condition. Last video, we saw how to do it with Excel formulas. This video, pivot tables. Our next video, 1419, will be same calculations with DAX formulas. All right, we'll see you next video.